Can you hear us, Terry? I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, so go, we'll go see, do the we'll, pledge. We'll, we'll see how this works. And uh, if there's technical difficulties, I'll uh, turn it over to Candy. But if we could uh, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. And Candy, why don't you go ahead and lead? United States of America. All right, I'd like to call the uh, August 3rd council meeting, special council meeting to order. Uh, yes, we did the Pledge of Allegiance. Jenny, if you could take roll. Council Member Thorson. Here. Council Member Peterson. Here. Council Member Wong. Here. Council Member Cole. Here. Mayor Furlong. Here. Uh, motion to adopt the agenda. Moved. Second. So moved by Councilmember Peterson, second by Councilmember Cole. Any discussion? Not all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, we have just one item on here, and I'll turn it over to uh, City Manager Frandel to uh, talk about the uh, recruitment of the uh, City Manager. Thank you, Mayor. Um, so the city has requested and received proposals from three professional services for firms searching for our open position of city manager. All three are highly qualified recruiting firms with extensive experience in searching for the best candidate for the inquiring city. Three firms submitted proposals, uh, David Drown Associates, Baker Tilly, and Gub H. Uh, looking over the proposals and taking all aspects into consideration, I am recommending David Drown Associates. Um, a couple of the highlights of the different proposals that we got in. David Drown was the, the cheaper or less expensive of the three proposals that came in uh, by as much as uh, fifteen or $2,500. Um, they also had uh, no limits with uh, on-site visits. One of them did have, uh, they actually charged $500 per visit um, to come out here. They were from actually even out of state. Um, they actually had the best uh, assurance. So after two years, if that employee was to leave or go somewhere else, for, whether or not he was resigned or let go, um, they would actually redo the, the um, service again at only at the costs that we incurred, not their professional costs. Otherwise, the other two offered only a one-year assurance. So, and they've actually done probably more of these over the last five years than any other firm. So. I think this is a quality firm. I think they'll do a good job for us. Brian, do you know if anybody's uh, done or who's been done uh, recently in our area Area from them? Any idea? Yeah, one, one example that they attached on here for one was Monticello was an example that they used because they put together a flyer for the cities uh, for <clears throat> advertising for them and going out for the city manager. Um, and the last one that they used for us was uh, was the city of Monticello. Okay. Any but they any actually, questions? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, if, uh, they actually have, make sure this was the right one because several of them turned it in and they actually gave long lists of the different cities. Uh, yes, so for administrators, they've done New Prague, LeSueur, um, Prairie Lakes, City of Anthony Village, and the list goes on and on. They, they've, they've done many. Good. Any questions for Brian? Thank you, Interim City Manager, for providing your recommendation. Can you um, share a little bit about the additional criteria in which you use to choose um, this firm? So, well, for start, starters, we were given four different firms to look at. Uh, we sent out four requests for proposals. Three were received back. Um, and just going over these, um, I guess the highlights are the ones I had mentioned. Their, their, their total price was $21,000. Um, the next one was twenty-two and a half, and then the next one above that was twenty-three and a half. So it was a bit of savings. Um, Actually, even just going out there and asking for the quote, they were the first one to come back and give us the quotes. I mean, they were very responsive to what we were looking for, but just going over their packet, they just got the best overall, um, I think, services that we can get for this service. Thank you. 
you also share a little bit about the timeline in which um, the other firms um, proposed? I think that was uh, something we were looking at is, is kind of moving that process along as fast as possible. So just curious on what that is. They, they were pretty close in, in time, all of them together. Um, <clears throat> as it was laid out, they will first off meet with the uh, city council to find out the needs and what you guys are looking for in uh, your next city manager, um, what kind of professional background they've had. Um, did you want me to go through all of those steps, get down, because then it brings us up to about December 1st. They're hoping to have somebody on board at the latest. Um, they, they were pretty good about staying strict to their timelines and uh, making sure that that happens. So we're looking at probably another three and a half months probably. Any other questions for Brian? I can't see anybody, so if there, Candy, if there's nobody else. Nobody else, okay, so the motion is for to uh, approve David Drown Associates uh, as the uh, firm to look at for the new city manager. Do we have a motion? So moved. So moved by council member Thorson. Second. Second by council member Peterson. Any other discussion? If not, all those are signified by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Brian, for, for doing that. Uh, as we move forward, it looks like December 1st, we're gonna be shooting for that uh, timeline. Uh, any other questions for Brian? If not, uh, thank you, Brian, again, for uh, putting that all together. And I guess uh, motion to adjourn. Okay. So moved. Moved by council member Thorson. May I add something? Yep, yep, go ahead. I think, you know, something really quick to discuss in terms of the Delta variant, it's surging again also in our state, um, particularly um, with unvaccinated populations. But um, just for us to have a clear policy for the public um, and their expectations, I think we should probably revisit that or look into some of those guidelines um, for public safety and public health. I think uh, city manager, uh, Frando, if you can possibly look into those uh, for our next meeting and kind of work with the council and work with the council on that. Absolutely. Um, up till now, we've been following CDC guidelines for the most part. Um, their recent change, they were in a higher, not the top risk category, but we're in a higher risk category where they're actually requesting uh, indoor meetings and indoor um, gatherings to use the mask while they're indoors. Um, I've actually had a commission member inquire about that since they are also meeting in the council chambers of what our policy is, which that'll happen between now and the time the next council meeting is. I just didn't know if you guys had any kind of feedback of where you want the city to be and policies to follow. I think again, as we move forward, this, this changes Again, like every day, every week, uh, I think working with uh, work with the council up until you know maybe a week before the council meeting. I know Council Member Wong, if you have any other insights in regards to that, uh, if you're okay with that, working with Brian and uh, seeing where we are, just about a week before the council meeting. Yeah, I can work on that with him, um, and we'll look into the CDC um, guidance, which at this moment is um, indoor masking, regardless of vaccination status, um, in substantial or high um, uh, incidences. So that's that's where Ramsey County sits at this moment. But okay. We'll work on it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we do have a motion. We do have a. Uh, uh, we have the motion. Do we have a second? I don't know if I have a second. I got Councilmember Thorson with the motion. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilmember Cole. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, meeting adjourned.